Welcome back, everybody. I'm Crystal with Real Nesta, as you'll see at Real Nesta. And today, I'm welcoming you guys back for another unboxing and product review. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you know we like to bring you the latest cool products or share with you guys our little mini Christmases, as I like to call it, when we order uh, products. And then here on this channel, the Thomas family, we reviewed them for you. And if you'd like to also check out our James and Crystal channel where we do vlogs. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we bring you all two YouTube channels. But today, I'm going to review this product. And if you like this product, check the link down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And follow us at The Real Nessas on Instagram. We're back, everybody. Yes, I am Crystal Real Nesta, and we're back for another box opening time. Yeah! Applause, applause, applause. He forget to put my applause in when I'm opening boxes today. But anyway, so today I'm opening my box from uh, ChristianBook.com. No, this is not from Amazon. It's from ChristianBook.com. It's so interesting when people do box opening times, we only open up boxes from Amazon. But there's so many more places out there to um, order from besides Amazon. So I don't know when you guys might see this video because this is actually, um, I bought a gift for a friend of mine as well as um, um, some stuff for myself. So I'm gonna have the hubby hold the, uh, the video until after my friend's birthday because I don't want her to see her gift. Anywho, because you gotta do that sometimes, ladies and gentlemen. It's not always about buying stuff just for ourselves. So, so you know I got our handy dandy steamer back here. Uh, All right, you guys. So I'm going to steam my little items here. They are books. So in order for them not to get cooked, I gotta do it really lightly. Okay, so this book I actually am buying from my son, The Ones for the Guys. This is called Friendships Every Man Needs. Yeah, I actually bought this for my son. I thought it was a good title. You know, we got to elevate ourselves, you guys. So in order to do that, you got to study. And then this one here is a little pamphlet. And again, I'm doing it lightly so that it doesn't get all mucked up and everything. This is the 12 tribes of Israel. Um, I am a bit into that. Not like not like super into it, but it's a pamphlet. Um, you always got to study. You got to know where you came from to know where you're going. So I really wanted this uh, pamphlet here so I could get a little bit put some more knowledge in my head about things I mean it's nice to hear things from people but no matter what you hear from people you should always always go do your own research so here's this and I don't usually uh, share you know when I buy people gifts or things like that because it's not really anybody's business, but I felt like, you know, I told you guys I was going to try to keep these unboxes coming. So there's a lot of things in between y'all don't usually see. So this bag right here says, the Lord is my strength and my soul. And it's Exodus 15, 12, 15, 2. I'm sorry. So it's a pretty cool looking book bag. Um, and it has the little padding for you to flatten it out. So you can use it for grocery shopping. Here's the inside. Or just to put some little handy dandy things in there. Uh, you can if you wanted to put it on your shoulder. For people who like to do uh, grocery shopping or uh, what's those things called? Flea markets? That's what those kind of bags are for. Um, what else I have in here? gonna do our little steamy thing i keep it up pretty high as you notice guys because 
I just want the steam to hit it. I don't want it to welter my pages or burn them up. The steamer will do that. This one is called Through the Bible in One Year by Dr. Alan Stringfellow. There you go. So, you know, the church that I'm associated with is actually doing this as a Bible study right now. So, uh, yeah. A 52 lesson introduction to the 66 books of the Bible. You guys, get your knowledge up. Um, I actually read my Bible daily, and but I've been doing it for years. So, if you are a person who said, yeah, I've been through the whole book of the Bible, blah, blah, blah. Get in study guides like this is very helpful because it might take you back to something you missed. Also, the Bible fits for, you know, your levels of life. As you, When you change in life, your understanding of the Bible changes in life. So not to get your whole sermon, get yourself some knowledge. So that's that one. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. Let's do this one. All right. So this is a mug. It's called Written Reflections. Again, this is from ChristianBook.com. And no, I do not have any endorsements. This is just my packages <laughs> that I'm ordering. So it says, collect all three written reflection mugs. Backs of the mugs shown below. So they have one faith, hope, and love. They're green, blue, and uh, red. So I bought hope. It's a 11 ounce mug, and it says, "Hope is the hope in the Lord renews my faith." It's pretty cool. Uh, I don't really want to open it because I bought it as a gift for someone, so I'm not going to open it. But anyway, that's that. Again, when you do your books, you want to hold it higher up. So like I said, you're not wiltering your pages or burning them. This one is called Knowing the Bible 101, A Guide to God's Word in Plain Language. And it's written by Bruce Bickley and Stan Jantz. Just in case I didn't pronounce anybody's name right. There you guys go. Y'all can look these books up yourself. You don't always have to buy them from where we buy them from. You might find somewhere else. Um, but again, you got to get yourself some wisdom and knowledge. Some new, you know. You got to get yourself some wisdom and knowledge. So uh, ordering these kind of things are pretty cool. Now this right here. It's actually all paper. It's called Acts and Prayer. Um, I learned this actually a long time ago, but when I seen the pamphlet, I really wanted to um, dive back into it. So it's there's a book called Acts in the Bible, it, for those who don't know, because you don't always want to assume people know everything. And this is basically an acronym for how you pray. So it's A, Affirm God's Presence, Adoration, C, confession, T, thanksgiving, and S, seeking for self and for others, surrender. So I love seeking for self, which is what I was saying to you guys about purchasing these items. I'm seeking for myself versus worrying about what other people have said or um, confirming sometimes what other people have said. And that's how this look. This is truly a paperback book. It's not really needed, but... I seen it and I wanted it. So I got it. I do know that acronym. Um, actually, I know it a little different. Why did they put two in here? I gotta check my... I gotta check my statement here. Okay? Because, uh... I gotta check my statement, ladies and gentlemen. Because I don't end up... Oh, I guess they just threw me an extra one in there. I only ordered one. They gave me two. That was nice. Anyway, yes, the bag keeps going. <laughs> okay, so ladies and gentlemen, this one is actually a pen. Um, it also is a pen based on hope. 
Uh, so you pull the little scroll out. I don't want to mess it up because this is actually going to be a gift for my friend as well. And it says the same thing the mug says. Hope in the Lord renews my strength. And you just pull that out. These kind of things are pretty cool because, you know, you could clip it on your shirt, clip it on your purse, and take it with you wherever you go. It's kind of like, the reason I'm giving it as a gift is a reminder to the person that, you know, why they continue to be hopeful. It's, a, it's an encouragement gift. There we go. This one right here is actually for mamas. This is for me. So I can open it for you guys. Um, this is a little simple necklace. And it says believe. And that little dot right there, if you can see it, is to remind you to have faith of a mustard seed. And that's how small a mustard seed is. So it says if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to the mountain, move from here to there and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. So I bought this for myself as a reminder to keep the faith in my goals and my dreams. And, um, you know, I think in this part of my life, not that I'm 100 years old or anything, but as you grow into different phases of life, you learn that you want to do things differently to get where you got to go. Some people start off where they need to be and kind of slow down. I feel like in my life, I focused on family in the beginning and now I'm trying to focus on business and get where I got to go. So this is a reminder to myself that I can do anything that I set my heart and mind out to. So y'all will probably be seeing my little necklace here and there and I am going to put it right on because this is mama's gift to herself. Yes, sir. There you go. So that's a piece of advice for y'all out there. Get you something that's going to remind you that you can see daily to keep yourself going, keep yourself motivated, the reasons why you do it. If you listen to all those motivational vi videos, they're pretty cool and awesome, but you have to take some type of action yourself to make things happen. So I honestly pray in a year from now, you know, I could go back and say, hey, you guys, remember that time I bought that necklace to remind me? Look at me now. But anywho, uh, and the last thing here, which is not exactly, I mean, this is why me personally, I don't like ordering online is because things aren't actually what they seem, or maybe I don't read enough into the details. But I'm going to show you guys this cool little figurine here. My friend is very much into these uh, angel-like figurines. And I bought her this, but I thought it would be a little bit bigger. So, I don't want to open it too much, but I think I can repackage it still. And that's her beautiful little angel to remind me of her. And it said, friend, the love you have shown has touched my heart. So that's that. I think it was so cool. It, re it reminded me of my friend, so I had to get it. But I have to repackage this a little better. I'm a little sad because I thought it was a little bit bigger than this, but I guess not. It's all good. She's going to like it regardless because, you know. It's from a friend. Anyway. So yeah, that's my ooh, that's my beautiful package, I believe. They always send you in here extra little flyer. So you can order again. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, so um I don't I always keep thinking I'm gonna start doing a Bible study actually on YouTube, but I'm not sure. But I probably should. Because it will help people who don't know how to uh, do it from home, especially after the pandemic and losing a lot of churches um, and losing a lot of internet, you know, just a lot of stuff going on. I don't know. We'll see. Comment down below. We'll think about it. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you as always for spending time with me. Uh, my cameraman is back, as y'all can see. Uh, thank y'all for spending time with me. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, comment down below. And, uh, yeah, that's 
said, call me and subscribe to that. Yes. And <laughs> see you on the next video. Peace.